what a fabulous day. I am so proud of all of you for coming out and joining and bringing attention to the issues of climate change. You know, I went online recently and I typed in, is climate change real? And you would not believe how many web pages are still out there today, the Flat Earth Society, those Neanderthals in our community who still think that climate change is a hoax. They don't believe that it's about to happen. They don't even understand that it is happening now. It's not something that is going to happen in a hundred years, but in fact, the changes are upon us now. What has been most frustrating is that those folks seem to keep grabbing the headlines. Today is the day where we grab the headlines back, where we say, where we say that climate change is real, it's happening now, and local leaders need to wake up and pay attention and do something. If you take a look over here at the river, I have photographs from just a month ago at high tide where the water was up over every one of those steps you'll see. When you look around Broward County at high tide, if there happens to be the time of, of year where it's also a full moon, you will find that throughout Broward County, our waterways and our roadways have become one. The road is being shared with boats because the water has flowed up and over. Already Broward County is experiencing sluggish drainage systems as a result of increased sea level. In Monroe County, the Ford Company won't honor the warranty to the police cars because every day at high tide, the very drainage system that was to pull water out of Key West is now become the path by which the ocean comes in. High tide brings water up to six inches covering every road, including Duval Street. In Miami-Dade on Biscayne Bay, a friend of mine comes down to walk her dog most days and has to go right back up the elevator because guess what? The road is underwater. Miami-Dade is now in the process of a project to raise that roadway two feet to deal with the rising sea. In Monroe County along Duval, another very expensive project to raise that road by one foot. These are huge investments by local government and still the public is not quite sure what's going on. Yesterday was a summit of leadership throughout the four county area from Monroe, Miami-Dade, Broward County, and Palm Beach County and the Water Management District to come together to sign a compact to say that we believe that we need to do something serious now. We need to combine our planning efforts. We need to understand that water is all around us. It's not just sea level rise that will be coming up, but water coming in from the Everglades as well. That the hydrology of this region is such that we will never be able to go build a giant seawall and hide behind it from the changes about to happen. We must do two things. We must first change our habits and our consumption. We must... We must also learn to adapt, to be resilient, to be ready for the changes that are coming because even if the scientists tell us we were to stop all carbon emissions today, there is enough of this stuff hanging up in the atmosphere that sea level rise is going to continue to happen. It only takes three more inches of sea level rise in Broward County for our drainage systems, our gravity-fed sewer systems, and our pumps that drain us out during strong rain events to be uh, inundated. We are already going to see these kinds of changes and local government needs to make those uh, investments. That's what yesterday was about. What we're about here today is to help the average person out there understand that there are major world events happening around the, the planet that are talking about where we need to go and why the United States needs to jump in and be a part of this, and that's Copenhagen. Everything leading up to Copenhagen, and President Obama has set the stage for this country to finally participate in a wholehearted and true way. with a couple of thoughts on the issues that we all are seeing for recycling. We come home every day and we see an, a, a, a pile of mail. All of those were once trees. If there's any hope for this planet, what we need to do is seriously start planting more trees. It is one of the simplest and easiest ways. There are swales everywhere. We need to plant more trees. A mature tree can put 3,000 gallons of water into the air through transpiration every day. That's an amazing amount of water. Trees are very important to overcoming climate change and 
the absorption of CO2. We also have to look around and see all of this sod. Sod everywhere. Guess what sod needs? It needs lots and lots of water to grow. It needs chemicals in order to keep out the weeds. And we plant tons of it. Now the weather's starting to cool out, so what do you see at every home and garden center? Miles and miles, trays and trays of impatience. Guess what impatience need? They need lots of water. On the way over here, I passed a landscaping company on the highway and loaded down were piles of sod, trays of impatience, and the truck in front of it was carrying cypress mulch. Guess what cypress was? A healthy tree that has now been crumbled up. Every day we make choices about what we're going to do, whether we're going to water, whether we're going to conserve water. Right now, Broward County has directed our attorney to come up with a two-day-a-week permanent watering rule. It's important for you to understand that the Water Management District, and we have been on two-day-a-week water restrictions for almost two years now, Surely Broward County residents have gotten used to how best to use water, their landscapes have become drought resistant, and we've all figured out ways to deal with the little bit of extra money it has cost us because we're on two day a week watering. The Water Management District is under pressure by the 28 water utilities in this county to instead go to three days, to go from the two days that we've all become accustomed to and bump it up to three. Your voices are important in this process. Anyone that's within reach of my voice, if you would email me at, at kjacobs at broward.org or simply go to Broward County's webpage, which is much easier to remember, broward.org, you'll find me there. Email me about how you feel about water issues in this county. Let me and my colleagues know that two-day-a-week watering is imperative if we are to sustain the changes coming our way with climate change. We must create a fresh water head that stays on this side and pushes salt water out. If we're going to keep our fresh water wells on the eastern coast whole, we know that using less water is one of our biggest and only prayers for combating, fighting, as they say, water with water. So if you're able to, I would appreciate your voice. This item will be coming back before the County Commission in the next several months. All of your interest, all of your activism, for you to come out and engage yourselves in the way that you have today. I know you have it in you. I really need to hear your voices, and so do the rest of my colleagues on the County Commission. Thank you so much for what you're doing.